Okay, we're back and we're gonna paint now. Once again, these are the colors that we're gonna be using and I'm gonna be doing in Dixie Bell uh, chalk mineral paint and this is pure ocean. Pretty blue. So I'm excited to use that one here. And then one one. I'm gonna keep my water close by and that way I can keep my brush a little more on the moist side if I need to. Alrighty. So this is just going to be the first coat, so it's going to be a little bit translucent. And um, yep. So y'all have seen me paint with this brush several times. This is um, the Klingon. It's the Oval Forty. And it works really good with this chalk paint. You guys can order this paint uh, through my link that I posted on this post. So you can kind of see where I had, you know, my brush was a little more wet on um, this right side here, translucent, but um, and right here I've got it a little bit more thick, <sighs> but that's okay. Um, I'm just I'm smoothing this out, and once it uh, dries, I'll be coming back through with the, another coat. Since we have like a really smooth surface here, it kind of, um, it just like relies on really nice. Was just kind of a, a nice little hit to it and then I went over it with like a degreaser to clean it uh, and take off all the um, the saw the dust that was on there I know I have a mess <laughs> um, so yeah I basically just cleaned it and that kind of flattened it out for me and um, ready for to paint um, this paint uh, that I'm using is is like a chalk paint, it's chalk mineral paint, and it will go on, you know, pretty much anything. So um, I'm like not concerned that my paint's gonna uh, come up after this. So um, just from my experience, like sometimes these, um, when you have such a slick surface, you, uh, when you paint, you get a lot of um, all those lines, you know, that you were seeing. So it just depends um, kind of how you want to work, um, what you want to see. Um, gosh, some people even like all, you know, all these lines in there. Um, so it just depends, but you can, the more you go over it, um, you know, the more all these lines are going to go away. So it'll really fill in on, the, on this next coat. Have you used Dixie Bell paint? Mm -hmm. And you don't you you don't have to sand like all the piece, every piece. Um, just this specific style I wanted to.
can help you out. So I try to keep with the same lines, but sometimes it's just really hard, um, especially when you have uh, like a big curb curvature in there. But it'll all straighten out on the second coat. See, watch, see that? Like that's over the one coat. Great coverage, great. Okay. On my Etsy shop, um, which is where my customer found me, because um, I offer uh, custom orders through through there, and she saw uh, something that I had done on another piece, because I I have a bunch of pieces listed on there, um, basically like a like a portfolio. Um, but she said she liked one or a couple of them that had a were all turquoise and. Um, with the natural uh, top on it. So that's what we're gonna give her. Done. All at the same time. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, I go both ways. Like, it's nice to have, um, uh, you know, be able to do what I want to do. But um, at the same time, it's, um, I'm always, like, excited to see what my customers come up with. Because I have, like, really awesome customers that they want, like, they want to go all out. So, I am... And they they definitely challenge me, and you know it cut like it's it's just pretty cool. So I, I everybody's got a different taste or style or color concept. Um, so it's it is it's neat though because usually like they'll um, see so, either see something I had done or purchased, you know, one of my pieces um, that I have available. And then, you know, we'll, they'll build off of that, like, you know, they'll all of a sudden want um, something to match that. And then here we, it's a whole thing then. <laughs> so, um, but I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. And um, very lucky that I get to do it. And I'm very grateful that they appreciate it, so. Can't really ask for much more. I'm just trying to get behind those legs. These pretty little legs that everyone goes gaga over, including myself. Okay, what else? What else do we need to be on? I'm not on Snapchat. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do it all for me. Oh. oh, I guess 
is the the owner or CEO. I don't know how all that works. Huh, but I've been on there for a long time now. Seems like a long time. <laughs> if it's not the it's oh yeah, the it's <laughs> you can really see the curves on these drawers right here. Yeah. They're awesome. I don't get too concerned about um, the bottom of, of the drawers on for obvious reasons. Um, plus, it's, you don't want the paint to pull back on there. I do get like the sides because those do stick out. So make sure that those are nicely painted. edge to look at. So that's one of my staple pieces. And then another one is um, <clears throat> um, my one of uh, the places that I have rent space from for some of my boutique clothing. Ooh, okay, real quick, we're gonna talk about Bombay dresser. I have seen so many Bombay dressers redone lately which is awesome. Like I love, I love seeing them. Uh, I saw them all on, um, one of the paint group sites and it like, and maybe y'all have seen it too, but they list, they, had someone to um, create me some really awesome cute videos like he has. I'm so jealous of that because mine are so boring. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, Donna. Mm. Yes. I love it. I actually, I private messaged him one day. And, um, oh, because I did a, I did a wreath last Christmas and, um, 
I've got to sh I'll have to show it to you. I have it inside. Um, but so we live in Virginia and it gets really cold and if I'm stuck inside and I don't have anything to do, I, I get all cabin fever, you know, like the movie. Um, so I have like, kind of like my crafting stash <laughs> set aside <laughs> or like pushed in the closet in the corner. All right, I'm gonna go see what time it is and let y'all take a break. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get back to painting the sides, each side, and um, putting on the second coat of the Pure Ocean. You guys can uh, check out uh, my link that I posted in the description. Um, so this is Pure Ocean that I'm using and brush just a little bit wet from some of my water and I pat it dry on my, uh, my paper towel just so it smooths out nicely just hit those edges there just a basic um, paint job not all not all of our projects are wild out wild and out <laughs> Yeah, so this is the second coat, and you can really tell, you know, the big difference. Our first coat's always, eh, not so, not so pretty. Are you, are you working today? but I, I want to do three. I think three is going to be the, 
the third time's a charm on this one. Just because it was so dark, you know, it's a dark wood, and um, like I said, it was a little slick. Um, even though I went over it with a sanding block, it's just the type of wood or the finish that was on there. The wood was really nice and smooth, you know. And then you have like the vulnerable areas, like on these little ledges right here. So I want to make sure that I get those good to go. Like I said, I'm sorry if it's really loud or like the noise is really bad. I've got my heater going and um, the dryer going. <laughs> super exciting about him, it's just him painting. <laughs> Which is pretty much all I do. <laughs> I'm glad you can hear the brush. I like it too. If you don't have one of these, I suggest you get one. brush like I ever use anymore. <laughs> They're happy trees. Happy trees.
can go back and, and literally do the whole thing if you want.